guys welcome back uh, we want to continue our education on cybersecurity uh, this series is about what is cybersecurity all right so today I want to talk to you about sort of the scope of cybersecurity and the different components and how those things are managed and to make you feel a little more comfortable about your ability to manage your cyber surroundings. So cybersecurity is a state of process of protecting and recovering networks, devices, and programs from any type of cyber attack. Cyber attacks are an evolving um, danger to organizations, employees, consumers, just regular people. We all live in a digitized world. Um, they may be designed to assess or destroy sensitive data or extort money. A ransomware is about extorting money. So they can in fact destroy businesses and damage people's reputations and damage the reputations of businesses to be frank. So what's the best defense? So a strong cybersecurity system has multiple layers of protection spread across computers, devices, networks, and programs. But a strong cybersecurity system doesn't rely solely on cyber defense technology. It also relies on people making smart cyber defense choices. The good news, you don't need to be a cybersecurity specialist to understand the practice, good cybersecurity hygiene. Um, uh, we want to kind of discuss this with you today to help you understand how you fit into this world and how you can sort of manage these cybersecurity aspects of your life, uh, these threats and how to avoid those threats. So let's first look cybersecurity versus computer security versus IT security. Um, as I said, cybersecurity is the practice of defending your electronic systems, networks, computers, mobile devices, programs, and data from malicious and digital attacks. Cyber criminals can deploy a variety of attacks against individual victims or businesses that can include accessing, changing, or deleting sensitive data, extorting payments, or interfering with business processes. So how is cybersecurity achieved? Well, it's through an infrastructure that divides into three key components. There's the IT security, information technology, the cyber security and computer security. So information technology security, also known as electronic information security, is the protection of data, both where it's stored and where it's moving through your network. Um, while cybersecurity only protects digital data, IT security protects both digital and physical data from intruders. Cybersecurity is a subset of IT security. While IT security protects both physical and digital areas, cybersecurity protects the digital data of the network, computers and devices from unauthorized access, attacks, and destruction. So network security or computer security is a subset of cybersecurity. This type of security uses hardware and software to protect any data that's sent through your computer and other devices to the network. Network security serves to protect the IT infrastructure and guard against information being intercepted or changed. So the three components of cybersecurity in terms of its principles are CIA, it's confidentiality, integrity, accessibility. Those are the things that you should be able to maintain if you have a secure system. Okay. So let's talk about the types of cybersecurity. In order to better protect um, these systems, it's important to know the different types of cybersecurity. They include critical infrastructure security, network security, application security, information security, cloud security, data loss prevention, and end user education. End user education, where does that fit? Well, you'll see. Well, critical infrastructure security. 
It consists of cyber physical systems such as electrical grids or water purification systems. Uh, network security protects internal networks from intruders by securing infrastructure. Examples are network security include uh, implementation of two-factor authentication and new stronger passwords. Application security. It uses software and hardware to defend against external threats that may be present themselves in an application development stage. Examples of application security include antivirus programs, firewalls, and encryption. Information security. All known as InfoSec, it protects both physical and digital, essentially data in any form from unauthorized access, use, change, disclosure, deletion, or other forms of malintent. Next is cloud security, a software-based tool that protects and monitors your data in the cloud to help eliminate the risk associated with on-premise attacks. So data loss prevention, what is data loss prevention? So it consists of developing policies and processes for handling and preventing the loss of data and developing recovery policies uh, in the event of a cybersecurity breach. This includes setting network permissions and policies for data storage. Uh, end user education. We finally got the end user education. So let me tell you why that is important. Uh, acknowledges that cybersecurity systems are only as strong as potentially weakest link, the people that are using them. End user education involves teaching users to follow best practices like not clicking on unknown links and opening email attachments from people they don't know uh, that sent those links to them, which could possibly download malware onto your computer. Remember we said malware is bad software. So let's talk about some of the types of cyber threats. There are many types of cyber threats can attack your device or network, but they are generally fall into three categories. Those categories are attacks on confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Remember, I told you, those are the principles of cybersecurity. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So, attacks on confidentiality. These attacks can be designed to steal your personal identifying information, your bank account, your credit card information. Um, following these attacks, your information can be sold or traded uh, on a place called the dark web, right? It is the web that's not structured like the one that you're probably on listening to this course. Uh, so attacks on integrity. These attacks consist of personal or enterprise sabotage and are often called leaks. A cyber criminal will access and release sensitive information for the purpose of exposing the data and influencing the public to lose trust in a person. It's like going in, making your emails public. Can you imagine if some businesses' emails were public? It would affect their stock it may put them out of business. So, attacks on availability. The aim for this type of cyber attack is to block users from accessing their own data until they pay a fee or ransom. Hint, ransomware. Typically, a cyber criminal will infiltrate a network um, and authorize parties from accessing their important data and then demand a ransom in order to get that data back. Now, if we're talking about a few photos, most people aren't going to care too much. They'll just lose the photo. But if you're talking about your customer list or some critical code that helps you run your function of your business, that's very important to you. And in a lot of cases, people will pay the ransom. Here are a few types of cyber threats that fall into the three categories listed so far. So social engineering, it's a type of attack on confidentiality in the process of 
um, psychologically manipulating a person into performing actions or giving away information. So I send you an email and I say, you are a big winner of our Walmart con uh, test. And I've got a Walmart logo. You may believe that the email is from Walmart. So these phishing attacks usually come in the form of deceptive emails, like I said, and the goal is to trick the recipient into giving away personal information. So I tell you, in order to collect your reward or your winnings from this Walmart contest, you have to provide me with information. Another type of attack uh, we talk about APTs, Advanced Persistent Threat. This is a type of attack on integrity where an unauthorized user infiltrates a network undetected and stays in the network for a long time. So you could have downloaded uh, a file. Maybe you were downloading free music from the internet and it really turns out to be malware. And then in that malware is this Advanced Persistent Threat that works to send out information from your computer continuously without you knowing that it's even there. So next, malware. So malware is just malicious software. It's a type of attack on availability. It refers to software that is designed to gain access to or damage a computer without the knowledge of the owner. So malware can go from doing everything from stealing your logon information to using your computer to send spam to crashing your computer system. Several common types of malware include spyware, keyloggers, and true viruses and worms. Let me just tell you what a keylogger is. So for a keylogger, once that malware is on your computer, every time you do a keystroke, it records it. So if you go to your bank account from your computer and you think you're doing it quietly and secretly, every time you type in a letter for your uh, username and your password, that's being recorded somewhere so that that person can later go in and get into your bank account. So let's talk about the scale of the cybersecurity threat. While cyber defense tactics are evolving, so are the cybersecurity threats with malicious software and other dangers now taking new forms. And cybersecurity threats don't discriminate. All individuals and organizations that use these networks are potential targets. To help protect yourself, it's important to know the three different types of cybersecurity threats. Cybercrime, cyber attacks, cyber terrorism and in some cases they all sort of get meshed together but they are cyber crime cyber attacks and cyber terrorism so cyber attacks are often committed for political reasons and may be designed to collect and often distribute your sensitive information cyber terrorism is designed to breach electronic systems to instill panic or fear on its victim and then, um, as we talked about the cyber threats, they're constant and they're occurring every day. So this was your next lesson on what is cybersecurity. Uh, I know I delivered a lot of information, but this is all the very basic and important information that you need to move to the next step of being a cyber professional or just being able to take care of yourself digitally. This is Mike Eccles, and I'll talk to you soon.